Today I want to show you how simple it is to deliver lead magnets using ConvertKit. I want to show you a very straightforward process that you can just rinse and repeat and use multiple times to deliver your lead magnets in a super simple way with one goal in mind, build relationships. Let me share it with you right now. We've got two landing pages here. These landing pages are built with a page builder called Brizzy. And the first one is what's called an opt-in page. And this is the page that we send people to to opt in, to give us their email address in exchange for the free thing that we're offering. So here you can see this opt-in is for an email nurture sequence template. So if I want to write an email sequence to my list, I don't know how to do it. This one's done for you. It's got handwritten notes where I've scribbled all over it to tell you why I've written what I've written and the importance of the different sections and the structure so that you know how to create that skeleton, that structure of an email sequence for yourself. And so this page basically shows you the thing that you're opting in for, and then it invites you to enter your email address to receive the opt-in. How does that work from the ConvertKit perspective? How do we do that in the back end? How do we then capture that person's email address and deliver that free thing? That's what I'm going to show you really quickly now. So the opt-in page, then links to a thank you page where there's a little video of me sharing with them. Thank you so much for requesting the download and notice this button, the CTA button that's linking them to my strategy call page. I say to my clients and they get fed up with me for saying it, all roads must lead to Rome. And what that means is everywhere that you create content, that you push stuff out into the world, you must really be drawing people in to that place of converting to becoming a client with you. That's Rome. That's your goal. It might be a sales page for a course. It might be a coaching sales page. In my instance, it's a free strategy call where we talk about how coaching or masterminds might be of benefit. What's that call to action for you? That's the important thing to include on the thank you page. The bit that we're going to focus on today is how do we tie all that together inside of ConvertKit? It's really rather simple. I I put these kinds of automations together in about 20 minutes. So you create a page for the opt-in and this has what's called a two-step opt-in. So it has a pop-up when you click the button rather than the form being embedded on the page. They click a button which brings an opt-in pop-up where you enter your details. This part of the pop-up where it says first name and email address, this is the opt-in form. This is where the interface with ConvertKit begins. So in ConvertKit, the first thing we've got is a form for them to opt in. Now the look of the form is just very simply a first name, email, and a call to action button. I've changed the color of the button so that it matches my brand color. But then in, in order to get it onto the page, all I've done is I've gone into the embed settings in ConvertKit, gone to WordPress, and I've taken this short code from ConvertKit and in the page editor here, I've just dropped in the WordPress shortcode and that's what brings the form up. It's really simple. But then what that means is that that form is integrated on your website. So if somebody fills in that form, they're going to get added into your ConvertKit list. Now, one thing I like to use here is the incentive email with ConvertKit. So the incentive email is what's called a double opt-in. A lot of people, when they're first starting out with email marketing, they don't use double opt-in because they think, oh, I don't want to stop people getting on my list. I want to leave the gates open. I want as many people as possible. And actually, you really don't. People on your list that are spam or they don't want to be there, they're never going to convert into a client. And yet you pay per subscriber for, you, for these people to be on your list. So it really doesn't make sense to have any and everybody onto your list. You only want people that are interested in what it is that you've got to say. And so double opt-in, it does two things. It acts as a gate. So a gate to stop that spam and those unwanted emails getting onto your list. But it also helps deliverability. If you think about it, if you send 100 emails and a big portion of those emails are spam, that means your deliverability score, which affects how well emails get through using these softwares, causes all kinds of bad for you in your email marketing. So it's recommended that you use double opt-in for, for those reasons. And here, I like to just link them in the confirm button, the confirm URL to the actual thing that they've downloaded. So the URL here is the link to the file. So when they click, yes, I'm happy to be on your list, Colin, they go straight to the download that they've requested. That makes sense? Okay, cool. The next thing that happens is they get added onto a tag. So 
Tags in your email marketing platform are super important because it's the tag that allows us to identify behavior, interests, activities. I've visited this page. I've downloaded this lead magnet. I've watched this video. I've subscribe to this course. All of those things allow you to paint a picture of that individual on your list. And so tags are really important. Then there's a short delay before it sends them an email nurture sequence. And this is my, this is one of my lead magnet delivery sequences where it takes them on a small journey to get them into my world and interested in that conversation. So then in summary, we've got the form, the tag and the email sequence. And that's it for this part of the automation. You can create those inside of ConvertKit ad infinitum. Just keep going and going and going and creating more and more free resources to build your list. Get more people interested in what it is that you have to do. And you have completed such a massive milestone there in building relationship with people who are interested in what it is that you can help them with. So go ahead, get your ConvertKit set up. Enjoy.